Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to finally get on to the main mission, A Song of Hope. So without further ado, let's go ahead and return to the Ironworks. Clive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Iron is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard-pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. That it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must? <laughs> the light! I thought this curve was meant to be hidden! Ugh. Mid! Company! Eh? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! <laughs> Everyone with me? Here they come! <laughs> Mid needs every moment we can give her! Behind me, Lord Rosfield! I'll take care of these fuckers! Behind you! I'll have you know, Earthbreaker here, one struck fear into the heart of every man in the Twins! said that ship was fast! <laughs> oh? Damn. I haven't felt this alive in 20 summers. Come on, then! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
useful. Save some for yourself. For you, brother. This is our chance. <laughs> That was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive? Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament! Have you no normal enemies? Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my axe? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bugger me! Way anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friends. Tis not blood that runs through Anegi's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! <sighs> How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Oh, fuck it. Let's do the lot. Stay down! You lose! Should we make for the ship? Not yet. Wait for my signal. <laughs> Say it again. 
God, there's so many of them. In your own time, Clyde. Right, run for it. Well, that was interesting. Now, mate! All right, engine full ahead! And hold on tight! What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. Every bell spent treading water puts another league between us and the galleon. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ah. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Randalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <sighs> Joshua.
Cheerio! Oh, yeah. Do keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. What have I done? My lord! There is something with that little girl, and obviously we don't know what yet. There's a lot of sea between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Full ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye! Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Not my blade cannot sever. Great Grigos, gosh! <laughs> Upon a 
grab us. Out of port! Heads down, you brutes! And brace for impact! It's now or never. I'll find her. Why did you hide her, Barnabas? Cut him down! Stay down! Oh, one of these guys? Eh, they're not really the funnest to fight. Oh wow, he went all the way over there. What a jackass. Lost there for a second. A proper fight at last. We're all going to die. I'm the first on the butcher's bill. Please, don't kill me. I need to hurry. Come on. 
no! There he is! The king wants him alive! Hold on. I'm coming. For both of you. Thanks to Shepard! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate these guys. Who will steer the ship? Oh, can't go down there yet. Needed that. You're a fine hound. She must be here somewhere. Let's go up here and see if there's a potion that we can grab. And go to the other end. Clive, you run so slow, bud. I mean, give it he is wearing a bunch of armor, but... <laughs> I don't care about the bloody hides. That's unfortunate. I'm just a cook. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> my leg. I can't feel my leg. Um, yeah, let's go down. Damn it. Whatever, we'll fall down. later. Hands. <laughs> C 
Can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> Stand still! Phoenix... Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Then... Not where I'd want to be. Can you go on? I think so. Oh. But... To where? <sighs> you... What did you do to Joshua? The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve.
now. It is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. We don't have to do this! Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Rise, Uthos. In the short time since our last meeting, you have grown much. Yet as a vessel, I fear my lord will still find you. Lacking. Fire and flame! Too slow. All this fire and fury. And for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dare you! You know naught of this world, nor of our place in it. If our fates were so easily rewritten, we would all be gods. Defend yourself! I have seen enough. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion that might. Cast off your chains! Oh my god! Raise your guard! Ramu! Garuda! Thanks, boy. You will assume the mantle you've been given. And thus is the light of hope severed! You would yield so soon. Never. Clive! <laughs> Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominants? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you, 
that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why loyal servants to God? No. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. Don't look back! Wow, <laughs> that was a lot. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the eyes where it led. We need only wait till dawn. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. Then maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. So you believe. But do you really know? 
hurt me. If what Barnabas said was true, then I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Think of what you've used that power for, of all the people you've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was granted, only how you choose to use it. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. What if that's my purpose? What if it's all I'm good for? You're still that same boy I grew up with. Always so eager to save everyone around you, and yet always so alone. Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. And I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Jill. Are you sure? If... If this is what you want, then... Don't worry, Clive. It is. This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. These... burdens I carry... my sins, my pain, my sorrow... I see now that they are all a part of me. my life to those I love, then I will gladly bear your burdens too, until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill, we will find a way to escape this fate. 
find a way to save each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again, together. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. I know. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Of course. Drake's spine. The last Mother Crystal. The Einherjer is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on Storm without her. But they know we're coming now. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Ash will have to wait. <laughs> Fucking finally, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> The tension between uh, Jill and Clive. Um, we're going to go over here. We'll probably have a cutscene. After the cutscene, we're going to end the video. So let's go ahead and do that now. Mead says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. I see your uncle isn't with you. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherjer, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. We're to join him there when we're ready to sail for Ash. You sure that's wise? Last I heard, the place was still overrun with a Kashyyyk. Show me a city where that isn't true. Ultima's plague is spreading. 
We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Sweet. We have uh, Shiva's powers. I should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. Yeah, we definitely have uh, more side quests. Surprise, surprise. Let's see. Looks like just two over here. Um, nope, three. <laughs> Even weirder science. That's probably going to give us uh, more potions we can carry. Uh, and blacksmith's blues. Uh, <laughs> Blacksmith is a pretty sad man, I suppose. Um, just go to the world map, see if we... Yeah, we, we have a ton of side questing to do when we come back. Jeez. Uh, they really like their side quests at the end of this game, huh? Uh, but with that all being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for bearing with me and watching the video. I know that was quite a long video and a very long cutscene, but a very interesting and lore filled cutscene. All right, everybody, like always, I want to start by saying thank you so very much for watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't go ahead and hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.